YouTube, there is no firearms in this video. Welcome back to the Loki Air Gunner YouTube channel. In this episode, we will be shooting this Beam and Chief 2 2000 PSI version in Woodstock. Since last summer, I've been trying this rifle, but in synthetic stock and 3000 PSI version, the curve seems to be a bit steeper on the 3000 PSI version, and this one seems to be a bit more consistent. Hopefully, this will show on target at 50 meter today. We will be trying the JSB Jumbo 15.89 grains. This is my third time shooting this rifle. Basically, the first video was hollow point and open sights, which did not do too great. But I did zero this scope with the hollow points and it did not do too great too. So that might be the pellet's fault. I did not record the zero video because I'm I'm lacking time this summer. It is getting cold already, but I did try the Jumbo RS in there and it did not seem to work even from 30 meter or so. So hopefully those will shoot from, from, from 50 meter today. I'm not redoing this intro and we will shoot only one camera style because I can't edit all of summer. On there we got a Swamp Deer HD Pro 4 to 16 by 44 SF FFP, okay? I'm trying that for another review. I did not have rings. I had the scope for a while. The reticle is crooked. The rest of the scope looks decent. So yeah, let's shoot for real now. BN Chief 2, 2000 PSI, JSB Jumbo, 15.89 grains to start with, 50 meter footage. Damn, that's pretty damn good for 50 meter. I could keep shooting those, but we are currently at 1600 PSI on 2000, and that's very good. I will give it like eight clicks up on this MRAD scope, and then shoot like three more of those, and maybe try the RS after that. Eight clicks up on the MRAD scope with JSB Jumbo 15.89 grains. Then I shot five RS right there, and that's about the grouping that I had from 25 30 meter when I zeroed the scope. So that might not be this rifle's favorite pellet. Yet this rifle is shooting pretty good. I think I like it better than the 3000 PSI version already after shooting it thrice, three, three times. Good. Now, since I don't have a bottle, I will go back home, fill it back up, and hopefully come back today. Thanks to Airgun Source for the compressor, thanks to Airgun Archery Fund for the rifle, and thanks to you for watching my silly videos. Oh, and also thanks to Swamp Deer for the scope, even though we had a bit of a rough start on the collaboration. But yeah, cut to this on another target and the voiceover dude. Beeman Chief 2, 2000 PSI version in Woodstock with the Swamp Deer scope. Six turns in on the hammer, out of the box with the tune trigger. I did not mention that at the start, I guess, maybe, who knows. So let's include that in the video. I will be shooting 80s, 15.89 grains from 50 meter and see what happens. I might shoot some 18 grains JSB after that, let's see. Hmm, we got three there, six, seven, eight, nine, what, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was not grouping too good, we are still a bit low. I will give it like eight clicks up because we are still shooting low and the next pellets are heavier. I will take three 80s with the adjustments there and then like five 18 grain JSBs just to see if they group and... You know.
The other rifle really seemed to like those 80s, but this barrel doesn't seem to be a fan. Of course, I was shooting in about the only blade of grass that was facing the target, but the 18 grains did slightly better while not great. This is maybe slightly over one inch. I might come back later and try more pellets now that I got a nice compressor to fill the rifle with. But the 80s will be about last out of four pellets yet, which is interesting because those are pretty good pellets. So let's cut to me doing something else. rat or I mean move I want to see you come on yeah move faster than that thank you is that a taupe yeah that that's a mole or whatever that's pretty cool never seen that pretty nice they had the range now you want to let that cool off a little bit, but that's better than letting yourself cool off. Thanks to Ergon Source again for that thing. Thanks to Ergon Archery Fund for that thing. And thanks to everyone for the support because I will not be here if it will not be for you. Beeman 2000 PSI, the same day. Tiny bit of wind, but it is a pretty nice day for the season. We are back at 2000 PSI using the JTS compressor. We will start with Umarex Brimstone 18.67 grains. Thank you to Umarex for sending me those. After that, we might shoot some JTS 18.1 grains. Let's see that. Uh, not great, but not horrible. My thumb is about one inch from there to there, so over one inch for sure. It seemed to do better than the 80s. It also seemed to shoot better with the JSB leading first, and then it kind of did worse. So I assume it is not worth shooting more in this rifle. But my 2240, absolutely love those. They are the, the favorite ones yet, I believe so. Let's try some JTS dead center 18.1 grains right there and see what happens. Hopefully we're not hitting grass because I need to mow. That's really not too bad. This is about one inch. This was the last few, so maybe this has something to do with the pressure. Those might be in the top three best pellets for this rifle at this tune with this barrel and blah blah blah. Okay. Yet it seems like the JSB Jumbo did the best out of all of them. Let me tell you that in the voiceover again because this will not be the official outro. I want to shoot this thing because that's a cool natural free target. Then I will go back home and that will be good enough for today. I shot three times. I went back home three times today. So leave a like for the dedication to this review and to giving you guys content. And now listen to what I have to say on what we did today. Hopefully I got some cool pictures and footage to show you that. But that's still too much rambling. Okay. B-Man 2000 PSI. Can we shot with the JTS? We add a fairly good big group so hopefully we hit it tiny bit to the right remember that that might or might not have been harder than I thought it would 
but I guess I did get a few shots in it. Also started cutting my grass, which is a good thing. I guess this free target is reusable if you are bad at it. The rifle is currently at 1000 PSI, so I will stop shooting. This is where they say to stop shooting. But I will see y'all in the next one. I hope this video was entertaining. If not, what the fuck are you doing here? Closing the bleed valve. That's a lot better than pumping for sure. Well, I guess I'm back. Before mowing the grass, I want to try the HNN 18.13 grains Barracudas. And then we might try the Barracudas 21 point something grains. Let's see what happens. This was not my best shooting, but I don't think that's on me. I might have pulled slightly one or two, one being this one, but this kind of confirmed that it was not all the way my fault at least, because I did not pull that one. This is kind of a weird pattern, so that's definitely not the best pellets for this rifle yet. I tried to select nice looking pellets, but I'm on the end of the tin and it is fairly old and it was gifted to me by Ergon Archery Fun, so yeah, I don't know if that could affect the results a little bit, but this is what we got. Now I will try the HNN Barracudas 21.14 grains right there. Well, that's already a lot better. We got more vertical string than horizontal. And that might be because of the rifle getting lower in pressure. This was supposed to be the best few shots. It seems to be very consistent at six turn on the hammer at the beginning of the fill at 2000 PSI. This should have been a bit less consistent going down. And this is what we, we got basically. We got one bad flyer. Is that me? Is that a bad pellet? I don't know, but that, that might rob the second place, especially if we rematch that. This was just to see which pellet I need more of because I'm getting low on everything and which pellets this barrel will like. I might keep the 2000 PSI rifle because yet I like it better. So yeah, now I will mow for real and do the outro for real. I'm not sure if I will edit that, but Leave a thumbs up for my ingenuity, like JTS says. I could just do that and show you a picture, so leave a thumbs up for my editing and stuff. I'm already trying to make quicker videos and faster to watch and edit, but that's not always easy, so like it, like it, subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voice over Loki will keep it fairly short, but basically the JSB Jumbo 15.89 grain seems to be the best out of this rifle yet. There is four other pellets that did decent and that I want to rematch eventually because I shot them second, aka not with the best pressure range. You get 10 great shots, 10 good shots, and then maybe 10 or 15 okay shots but not great for 50 meters so yeah overall this budget non-regulated pcp is doing pretty good yet thank you to ergon archery fund for this opportunity and a huge thank you to ergon source canada for the compressor making me fill it faster and giving me the opportunity to to shoot it like four times that day anyways thanks for watching this video hope you liked it and I will see y'all in the next one. Ready to go back home, make my little bridge. <laughs>